Welcome back to what is our YouTube channel called? The E Man Family or the E Mans or <laughs> Winston's Fan Club. Yes. Thank you for copying exactly what I said Literally in the last in the video. Last I need to stop looking at that joint. But hey, thank you guys for clicking this video. And what we're going to be talking about are a few things that surprised us when buying an English Mastiff. And these are buying, all going to be... Like as if he's like a teddy bear. These are all going to be negative things. Last video, if you want to see that, click the link above as that will be um, talking about the positive things. But in this video, we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive on the negative things. I feel like a a radio i know like why I is your like voice, voice so is hoarse like ill i know baby shower he's, got a he's little crazy trying to be uh he got a little crazy the other day what what song does drake do that really low voice like he's trying to be seductive all of you <laughs> that's yeah. not it so here we go number one huge negative for most people is the shedding shedding it's a lot it's a lot it, it's not what i expected no because we expected oh, okay a short haired dog um you know not a lot of brushing we thought that this guy was gonna have short hair you know it's not gonna be matted or any we won't have any of those problems the hair that's gonna fall out is gonna be very minimal because they're short boy were, we were we wrong. wrong we were wrong they his hair is everywhere like yeah. i no longer wear black as you can tell literally you walk by he just like he'll have like fur on his beard everywhere yeah it's honestly everywhere and i want we are learning that you know if you keep him groomed like you know every few weeks the shedding isn't as bad, but if you like wait a month, two months, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. We need that vacuum. It's not a lot of brushing. Like obviously his hair doesn't get knotted or anything, which is I guess a positive. Yeah. Regardless, the shedding is a lot. So yeah. um, be mindful of that if you uh, like to keep a clean house. Mm -hmm. You won't. You won't. But so another huge negative trait yes. that these huge. Uh, 200 yeah. pounders have is if they're on kibble and we did not know this we learned this the hard way they poop, they poop a lot they poop a lot like so i mean you when gotta grab it like you gotta you gotta grab it like this yeah like it's a lot and you can imagine like most of the time because he was on kibble his poops were very like almost Mush. like borderline diarrhea yeah, yeah. yeah mushy so i and me having very small hands it was honestly a nightmare and i was pregnant while he was you know, that's a man's a, job yeah that's a man's job while he was a puppy but tell them how like every two weeks our garbage gets picked oh up oh my god i used to lift it and i swear 45 pounds at least yeah like at least i would yeah. have to transfer it and like we had to double start double st doubling up bags because it was just so heavy it was ripping the bags mm -hmm. and you can just imagine the mess that that oh would my make God. Not, but now he's on raw, raw food and his poops are like like ra rabbit smaller poops. than yeah, yeah smaller than bad. human poops which is so funny because everyone on that girl with the dogs video will be like Oh my god his, poops, his poops are probably are enormous like nah, we can't son. imagine and i will respond nah. back being like where i'm telling you it will fit in my palm <laughs> yeah it's not like bad it's so and he'll even sometimes just go once a day yeah. or twice a day Usually but, twice a day yeah but no issue whatsoever and it's apparently because when you feed them a raw diet all the content yes. in it is so pure. pure yeah, yeah that your body just absorbs we it. should eat that kind of food but you know we we uh, sushi we go for all this stuff yeah next the point next as point. we were talking about if you want to keep a clean house just throw that out the window not only do they shed a lot that drool is insane mm -hmm. so much drool to the point that if you're eating in front of winston that drool gets so like like a pool. fake it's a fake. pool and yeah it's slippery that i got up once and i literally thought in my head i was like that's a lot of drool i should probably not step on it and i slipped right through Why the baby gates and i broke the baby gates but it was that all was just installed like a day before it was all because of that drool man just throw but, away that idea of having a clean house yeah but another huge a lot of people will also say like oh i don't really have the space for a dog that size they're really they don't they take don't up a lot, a lot of space. space he just sits the, in our living room the one move. positive thing about you being in an apartment, for example, and owning an English Mastiff, you don't have to clean as much space. Very true. Very so true. Uh, when you're like in a detached house, it never stops. Yeah. So sometimes we really do like to keep
keep him in a certain spot in in our house which is pretty much like the size of an apartment yeah in that spot because it's just easier for us to keep exactly. everything else clean now the next negative point is a little bit more preference and just like me being kind of jealous but it's kind of hard to take him places like yeah. as much as we we have a ramp that he can climb up into the the vehicle he hates it so most of the time i just lift him into the vehicle so i'll lift his we front do not legs recommend up. yeah I'll lift his front legs up and i'll lift his back legs in and i mean we can do it but uh, first of all the shredding in the vehicle the back the trunk is full of hair all the time and just you know it's you bring those dogs places and people are scared of them and you know he gets a little bit of anxiety being out like that so it's just kind of hard just due to his size to kind of take him places like mm -hmm. that because he obviously doesn't fit in very many yeah <laughs> like you, there's dog friendly restaurants Malls, and dog envy, friendly envious, hotels I'm envious of these people with and the like dogs that and you could put in a stroller not like fair. I wish I could put my dog in a freaking stroller, but I mean, I guess he could fit in a wagon, but he'd be too scared of the know, rolling. He'll probably try and jump out. So that's one big thing that we wish, like we wish we could share more experiences with him, yeah. but because of his size, it's kind of it limiting. Like one time he tried to um, book a hotel in Niagara Falls because he needed to get groomed by, by Vanessa, a girl with the dogs. And, um, it took me months to find a hotel and eventually we gave up because every single hotel would say oh, that how they're big is he? they're oh, dog yeah, we friendly don't have, we, don't, we don't accommodate yeah that. they're dog friendly and when you tell them that it's a 200 pound dog they're like oh i thought you said he was a large dog we expected it to be 70 pounds yeah come on people like don't be those people please don't this one kind of sucks as well, and I'm sure it's uh, just specific to Winston because we see other dogs that are, you know, athletic somewhat with uh, Mastiffs. But obviously, when you have a Mastiff, you want to be a little bit more gentle on them in terms of activity. They recommend that you only take them on, you know, like one walk a day, not over strenuous uh, exercise because, you know, they're... They have growing pains, their bones aren't as strong, and um, you the just, joints are so bad. Yeah, like they're carrying a lot of weight, so you gotta be extra careful with them. And I'm sure there are some there mastiffs. Are, there are. There's, There's videos lighter, I've seen where they're smaller. And yeah, they're, they're lighter athletic. mastiffs, they're very much like even the heavy ones, the ones that were mm -hmm. on YouTube, like if they're used to that kind of swimming. Um, yeah, like the swimming <laughs> stuff is good for them yeah, actually because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not bad on their joints. Like any activity that's like a lot of impact on their joints. Yeah. Yeah, over time, it's not going to be good. For it's them. not good for them at all. Another comment that we always get is how much do we spend on his food? Because he probably eats so much. If you thought it was a lot. You're right. Yeah. It's he, expensive. He is more expensive than our daughter yeah. who breastfed for like a year and a half. So we didn't have to worry about her at all. Right. So today we, we spend enough for a month of food and that was 300 oh no we had a toy so about 300 bucks about 300 bucks a month yeah for food yeah and honestly he doesn't eat as much as most dogs so if you no. do get a bigger dog maybe it's better to feed them less but yeah he, he eats about two pounds a day yeah uh, of raw food and that's him on a diet and that's him on a diet yeah so, so it used to be much more yeah he was just like two and a half pounds or so but yes yeah um it's a it's a very expensive feeding these dogs they're the biggest in terms of mass so you would expect them to need a lot of food to carry out that you know shape so it makes sense but <laughs> they, they, they're, they're built it's like that lot. and then finally guys just them being as we said that we think they're super goofy they're extremely clumsy and um on top of that when you know they want something they'll do the you know they'll do the little paw and they don't realize Every it's like mastiff mike tyson owner just you know hitting you this. pretty much so um very clumsy though as we said going down the stairs i remember when he had his uh allergic reaction his eyes like, oh really my shut. god he's he just goofy his man. eyes were like like uh, slowly <laughs> getting swollen throughout the day and until it was like pretty much sh shut or eating a battery and we have to watch the super bowl in the bed <laughs> 
parking lot. This guy gave us a lot of PTSD, He's honestly. Just, they're just, you know, this but that's year, all part I of I gotta it. say, this year has been one of the smoother years. It's common for a lot of dogs to do, like, you know, funny things like that, but I don't know. We just find that he's a little bit more clumsy than, you know, than the most other, dogs. the cousin dogs, at least. But, like, it's it's because he's a Mastiff. He's like, a mastiff. Mastiffs are just, that's, that's part of their personality. And that's why we love them. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video highlighting things that surprised us negative version when owning a mastiff an english mastiff um again if you want to see any other videos or have any questions regarding owning this giant breed please comment below and we'll do our best to make those videos thank you so much for all of your support peace